Uh, Mrs. Weasley is freaking out because she thought they were all dead. But what's the point of having her clock if you're just going to think your kids are dead all the time? Oh. Yeah, what do you think her clock said while they Isn't were there? probably at mortal peril? It, I think that it would have been at mortal mm-hmm. peril during the Death Eater parade. <laughs> um, for lack of a better word. But, like, once that's over, like, once that's handled, wouldn't it have been traveling? But would it have said mortal peril? Uh, okay, how smart is the clock? Okay. Because everybody, nobody there is, yes, of course, Hermione, probably, but she's not on the clock. And Harry's not on the clock. So were any of those wizards in mortal peril? Oh. Just because well, Ron the, the, would have been. Ron, for what reason? Just because he's a kid? Well, he was, well, no, because, I mean, he was running. I mean, at a certain point, well, actually, this is where I have to kind of, like, remember the, because the the movies do a different thing than the books. So I guess, actually, no, because all they're doing when Mr. Weasley irresponsibly runs off and it's like, take care of your siblings. Um, (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Sure, Arthur. Um, Is they're just walking through the, the woods. So in mm-hmm. theory, mm-hmm. they're not really in mortal peril. They're just kind of like chilling, I guess, like meeting <laughs> right. people from Beau Baton and like bragging and like doing whatever. But there's really, they and they have no sense of danger, right? Like they don't really mm-hmm. recognize what's going on because none of them mm-hmm. know what Death Eaters are. Okay, I take back what I said. Well, and the Death Eaters aren't even doing anything. Right. Like. I mean, uh, to, to anyone other than the muggles, not like to, they, yeah. they're they're having muggle sport, but they're not going to attack a wizard there. Like, and maybe they don't know that. No, like, no one knows that. Draco even talks about um, them going after Hermione next. Like, Hermione needs to hide or whatever. But they're, I mean, it's a bunch of chump Death Eaters that aren't actually going to do anything. Yeah. Well. Well, like I said too. What? 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 It? How does the clock work? Yeah. What is the clock reading? How does it determine mortal peril? Because isn't doesn't she say refresh my memory here? Molly talks about a time where all the hands were on mortal peril. Was that during mm-hmm. the first war? Does that happen yeah. in a later book? Well, I thought I thought it was I thought it pointed to mortal peril after Voldemort's rise. Yeah. Like, I thought she said, like, now it always just points to mortal peril now. Right, so after the end of this book, after the end of Goblet. Either after the end of this or after the end of Order. I think it's the end of Order when she, because she's, and then she's, like, always carrying the clock around with her. That's right. It's in her laundry basket and such. Yeah, I think we hear about that at the beginning of Mm Half-Blood. Because that's when she's debating not sending them back to Hogwarts. Right. So the clock has to have some kind of sentience then because it is reading and understanding what's happening in the world, the politics of the world. It's not just connected to say, like, I was thinking maybe the hands were connected to the person, like physically to the person. So if that person felt like they were in mortal peril or they were sleeping or traveling or whatever, the clock would say that. But no, it's sort of reading the, 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 the world oh my gosh this is an incredible clock i need one it's really undervalued it's just hanging out and And i was going to say that i kind of think that something along the same lines where the clock can kind of feel dark magic in the air and but that doesn't make sense though because if it would have been on mortal peril for the the world cup is there a distance issue or because mm. the peril would have been just in that area, not all over the world. When Voldemort comes back, mm-hmm. you know, the dark magic is in the air. The feel is in the air everywhere, pretty much. So the breeding dementors even. Yeah. 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 So I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. This silence is me thinking about. Yeah. I don't know. What an incredible yeah. clock that is. And un- underutilized. 